I ain't worried. You worried. I, I, I'm not worried. everybody how are y'all doing we back boys before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up man that's right because you already know we're gonna bring that fire bro and so already like the video all right bro my internet was down all yesterday man that's right AT&T had an outage and so I was out of commission for a day, but we back, boys. We have some dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video. But the first one. It's February 11th. It's crunch time right now. Where is the February Nintendo Direct? Now, <laughs> I was of the mind February 13th would be an ideal day. Thursday, that's the same day um, we had it last year, 2019. It was February 13th, mid-February. Actually, I low-key would prefer Friday now, bro. And so I'm hoping either later today or tomorrow, Wednesday, we get some kind of announcement. Stay tuned for a February Nintendo Direct covering the Switch Pro. Nintendo online new online features achievements voice chat all themes Friday February 14th Valentine's Day because we love you Nintendo fans that would be lit but are you getting worried well it's two weeks in mum is the word and this is why I did this video because there was a um, leak from a credible source stating we're getting two Nintendo Directs. And so if we're getting two Directs, one focused on Animal Crossing and one a full-blown Direct. Of course, I think we should get the full Direct first because we've been getting Pokemon Directs, small Directs in January. <coughs> we should get the full Direct first and then towards the end of February, hit us with an Animal Crossing Direct before the game launches in March. But if we're going to have two Directs and Nintendo's going to try to pace it out, we're going to need a Nintendo Direct this week, this week, this week. And so stay tuned. I really think we're going to get an announcement, a Nintendo Direct announcement sometime this week. Today, tomorrow, or Thursday. I think we're going to get a, a Nintendo Direct announcement. I'm just saying, bro. It should happen. Nintendo. The fans want a Direct. I'm for real. All right, we have some great news for this video, some more Nintendo Switch news. And what, what do you guys think about the Nintendo Direct? Ah, it's getting close, Nintendo. Close to nothing. <laughs> close to um, our expectations and based on what leaks and rumors have been saying about Nintendo Direct in February. So, come on, Nintendo. Give us one. Because when you think about it, all right, let me go back to the Direct situation. Our last Direct was in September. October, November, December, January. Five months, bro. It's been five months since Nintendo has brought the Nintendo community together so we could rage at what we wanted out of the Nintendo Direct. Bro, expectations for Directs will be off the charts, bro. No matter what Nintendo announces, somebody's going to be mad that what they wanted didn't get announced, bro. It happens every Direct, <laughs> and I'm part of the crowd. So what? It's all about... Like a Nintendo, bro. We just have fun with video games, bro. You can't take video games serious. It's video games, bro. If you're taking video games serious, the rest of your life is in shambles, bro. I just made somebody real depressed. I'm joking, man. I'm joking, man. You have a good life. All right, next news item. Bro, Nintendo ain't playing with these Pokemon leaks. You talking about name shaming. Nintendo has called dudes out. They've discovered who the leakers were, 
and they drop names. This is um, Nintendo and Pokemon. They issued a statement regarding the Pokemon Sword and Shield leaks. And here's the statement. In early November, Nintendo identified a number of photographs taken from gameplay that revealed multiple new and unannounced Pokemon and Pokemon Sword and Shield. These photographs had been posted online and Nintendo, together with the Pokemon company, quickly identified the person responsible for these leaks and took immediate action. These Pokemon leaks by a reviewer for the Portuguese web website F Nintendo. <laughs> that's the name of the website, F Nintendo. <laughs> oh my goodness, we keep the channel PG, but that's the name of the website. Who had received an early copy of the game for review purposes. Both he and F Nintendo failed to handle confidential material, resulting in a clear breach of the confidentiality agreement between Nintendo and the media outlets. The name, I can't get the name out of my head. As a result, Nintendo will no longer work with F Nintendo. <laughs> ah! Maybe that website was trolling Nintendo all along, bro. All right. Nintendo will always protect its intellectual property, the, the statement continues, and brands. Leaks hurt not just Nintendo, but the thousands of employees, I can't keep a straight face, who work hard to bring games to market, and the millions of fans around the world who look forward to news and surprises. To surprise and delight players through new experiences is a shared passion for Nintendo and the Pokemon company. We'll pursue all avenues to preserve preserve surprises for players for future pokemon titles and so nintendo was hot and po the pokemon company that the game got tons of leaks happened with the game this is one of the reasons why nintendo cracked down on issuing um games to reviewers and websites and youtubers bro nintendo used to i used to get Every major first party game, Nintendo used to send me an early copy, like Clockwork. Clockwork. I still get them. Some I decline because I know I ain't going to play them. But uh, um, they, every first party game, Nintendo used to send me an early, early copy. Um, now they send you the copies like after. I don't really care about it because it wasn't really so much about the money. It was just the, getting the game early. Um, they used to send us early copies to YouTubers all the time for every major release. I remember one game got leaked once and they stopped doing that with this Pokemon situation they're gonna cut down even more they gave this to a website um, early and if Nintendo messed up <laughs> I could have made a joke but PG. they messed up and you could expect Nintendo's gonna crack down even more on issuing um content to reviewers and gamers so nintendo ain't playing bro they calling names bro all right next news item it's been announced that animal crossing new horizons will support the nintendo switch online mobile app yay yay we're all excited for no i'm excited for the game nintendo needs to figure out a way to not have us had to pull out our cell phones if we want to communicate so who knows what the app now nah, this would be cool because i like this in splatoon you get on your phone and you get like new clothes or new items or furniture for the game on your app but having to voice chat having to message all that should be done right on the hardware nintendo that's why we want to switch pro bro with more ram for all programs like that bro but Animal Crossing New Horizons will support the Nintendo Switch Online mobile app. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. All right, dudes. That's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? 
one subscribe make sure you're subscribed to this fire two make sure you're following me on twitter at obi one place and that's it you're in for our monthly giveaways but that's not it it gets even better do you want to game with your boy every day do you want to join our private nintendo switch gaming discord become a member three ways to join one through youtube there's a join button right below this video it's two through twitch twitch prime you can do it for free or just subscribe through twitch and number three the third way to join patreon.com backslash obi1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description see you later peace